Stephen Lamb, lovely to have you over here in Ireland, Thanks in Thomastown. Thank you so much. Really uh, you're, you're a bit of a cult figure. Thank you for that. Yeah, if I could have that in writing, that would be really nice. Tell us about River Cottage Eat Us. Well, River Cottage is all about good food, uh, positive experience about food, whether you're growing it, eating it, or, or cooking it. And the ethos is, uh, we have an, an acronym, I'm not very really good on an acronyms, but it's slow, uh, which is not the service of the food. It's seasonal, local, organic, and, and wild. So we're celebrating all the good things about food and teaching people to enjoy it and maybe getting back to the source of the food as well. I was just chatting to Liz Teen here. She was here with her uh, sister-in-law, Mary, and they were just discussing that, you know, they really find it passionate just to hear you speak. Well, that's really nice. Uh, I, I think that uh, food can bring that out in people. Yeah. You know, uh, it was never on my radar to end up working in food, but um, it, it's the people behind the food that I'm really keen on. Uh, and the people who are doing it for real, you know, and uh, not that we're not doing it for real, but when the TV cameras are around, as you know, uh, integrity doesn't always uh, stay in line, but I think the people who are applying a trade, growing food, making fantastic food, cooking good food, using local ingredients, those are my heroes. Yeah, because it's, it's what we're made up of as individuals, really. Absolutely, yeah. Can food change people? Uh, yeah, of course it can. Uh, I've uh, been known to uh, eat uh, food with so many enums and additives, uh, it's too, too long to mention. And I thought, hang on a minute, you know, this isn't the way that food should be. It's just, uh, I was brought up in Manchester in the north of England and you know it wasn't common for us to have overly processed food uh, but then when you start getting uh, access to kind of homegrown local food and the nutritional value uh, and the impact it has on the community and the business at large then it's much better for you. you there should be no way that you could buy two chickens for five euros and yet in the supermarkets you can and you realize the welfare of those animals for them to cost so little, you wouldn't actually feed it yourself and you certainly wouldn't feed it your kids. And we do feed it to ourselves. Yeah, we do, but we've come a little bit lazy. You see, um, people have become disassociated from uh, the, the where food comes from. And I, I'm not going to knock the supermarkets, you know, it's not that at all. Uh, but some kids still think that, you know, chicken or meat arrives on a shelf in a cellophane wrapped package uh, and that's where meat comes from. The further you can go, provenance is really key, the further you can go back to the source of the food, the more you know and the more informed decisions you can make. And Stephen, you're here in Thomastown, as I said. This is an exciting day for the community. Well, not half as exciting it is for me. I love the place. Uh, I, I think it's such a, a vibrant community. It's so distinctive. I mean, like, just the, the vibe of the place, the place... Uh, it, how it looks, the aesthetic, the history behind it, and of course, you know, the people. I've, uh, I don't think I'm going home. Is that okay to say? I think it's absolutely. It's lovely. Stephen, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure, Stephen. Thanks thank very you. much.